name is Kristen and I'm with Decorators Warehouse. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bow similar to this one. Now this particular bow has 11 loops and it's the perfect size to add into a wreath. When choosing your ribbon, it's always important to look for a ribbon with wired edges. This is going to allow for your bow to maintain its shape over time and it's also going to be a lot easier to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tail about seven or eight inches and to do that I'm just going to bring in the edges and pinch using my thumb and my forefinger. And then I'm just going to make a little diagonal cut right here for a little decorative finish. Okay, and I'm ready to begin my loops. Alright, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to create a loop again about probably seven or eight inches and I'm going to grasp it using my middle finger. Now once I have a good grasp, I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to twist so that the top of the ribbon is facing up. Okay, and then I'm going to grasp it again with my thumb and my forefinger. And then I'm going to be ready to make my second loop. Now when I'm making my loops, I like to measure by pulling them up to see that they're the same size. So these are, are going to be the same size. Now if one was a little bit longer, I can just pull down. Okay, but they're about right. So I'm going to twist and then I'm going to pull my finger around and grasp it again between my thumb and my index finger. Right, so I've got my two loops. Now this particular bow is going to have 11 loops. Uh, you use the same process despite the size of your bow, so you could do a smaller bow using seven loops or nine loops. Um, or you could use a bigger ribbon as well. You could do the same thing using a, a four inch ribbon. So I'm going to create my loops. Measuring as I go. Twist and grasp. Okay, so we always want that top layer facing up. Okay, twist and pull my finger around to grasp. Okay, so right now I've got about five loops. It's, when I'm finished, I'm going to have six on one side and I'm going to have five on the other. Okay, twist. When you twist, be sure that you twist it all the way around because it's going to help when we start to shape our bow. Put my finger around to grasp. Checking the size. Twist and grasp. got four on this side, four on this side. I'm going to keep going. Okay, see I've got them all the same size. We want to keep them consistent as we go. Loop. So uh, I'm going to leave a little bit here for a tail, twisting so that it's facing upwards just like the loops. And then I'm going to take my forest wire and I'm going to go around the middle of my bow. Okay, so right now it's kind of in this fan shape. And I'm going to bring it around and I'm going to twist, twist twist, making sure that it's really tight. Alright, and now we're ready to fluff it up. So I'm going to start by leaving my tail straight up and then I'm going to come on the other side and I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull my next loop to the left, to the right, 
and up. And then I'm going to go to the left again. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Right, left, up, right, and then we'll go to the left. Okay, and then I can just kind of shape it a little bit more. If you notice one of your loops are a little bit longer, for example, this one's a little long, I can come here and I can just kind of pull until I see that one start to get a little bit smaller. All right, so now that I have my uh, bow, I'm ready to insert it into my wreath. And so I have a 30 inch wreath here and I'm going to place our bow in the 11 o'clock position. So if you notice, we've got a wire frame that runs along the inside of the wreath. We're going to be attaching the bow to the frame. So since I have my florist wire on the back, I'm going to stick it through at the top and then around the bottom. Pulling it in, and I'm going to twist one, two, three. All right, there you have it. Thank you for joining us today, and be sure to stay tuned for our upcoming Reads Tutorial.